is Stephen Hoyles, the L.A. coach. He wasn't happy with last week's result against Houston. And uh, I think the players got the results of it, right? You've been in that situation. Monday and Tuesday weren't easy situations for their players. Chris Asmus, our referee, and we will get this underway. The Toronto Arrows playing from right to left on your screens in the blue and white jerseys. Bundle into... And from the Brantford Harlequins. First strike with his right boot. He's hit it well. Flags go up, and there it is. Much to the delight of the Canadian fans. And the goal line dropout. So that is a tough break for the Arrows, because I think they got there. But it will be the Giltinis. They go long. Gathered midfield. Hard bullocking run. Real intent. Broken two tackles, and the offload. The crowd love it. Really positive play from the Arrows so far. Will Kelly trying to put phases together, but they are pummeled back. And again, another block kick with a bounce for the captain. Really good line speed, unabated to the kicker. No one obstructing, getting in his way, and he gets good hands, even belly maybe on this ball, and <laughs> sits up nice and a little half dive uh, on the hard turf for a, a nice seven pointer. Mike Shepard's worked so hard in the offseason. His fitness is one of the tank moving forward. The Giltinis are on the roll. Billy Meeks joins the bats are coming in. It goes down. Is that going to be a penalty? The arm is out, advantage being played to the men in black. Tuala has another go for the line. And finally it opens up. Quick pick. I think it may be Angus. I know he's played prop too in Australia, but you can see his leg drive. Great knees showing, getting it up high and, and, and making would-be tackles miss him. What a, what a block. Well, a couple of things. And each year he's, he's gaining that um, physical presence that he needs to play at this level. Um, his aggression level is, ex is ex excellent, and, and he's tall, so he's going to play in, in multiple different spots on this team. Well, he's won the penalty there, and that gives this attempt to Spencer Jones, and he's made it. The flags go up. So what a response. Someone going up and make a big shot. Someone get someone going. They look comfortable. Maybe that 75-degree weather has been good. Will Kelly strike sweet and pure through the middle. A little bit lateral from the Giltinis. Show and go. Momentarily in behind is Harrison Goddard. And finally, they do get behind. It's a pick and go from the base. Inches. Guess who's on the ball? Tuala flips it out. Here's Daru is short. Quick pick, he sent it across. Really good work in the low leg tackle from Shepard. He did the unsung work there. Brody flying up, smashes Luke Barton. And now it's spilled out the side. The arrows are going to get their reward. The crowd are going nuts, and Spencer Jones, Jones can clear the lines. This is an educated rugby crowd here, and they appreciate that, Ray Barto. I think he saw Ben Massage is having to clean it up, and this will provide the Giltinis with another opportunity. Are they going to attack, or will they clear the lines and restart? Looks like they're going to take the four-point deficit and lift to restart. So a scintillating first half here. Tons of action. That man has a try, and he'll be very happy as the captain of the Toronto Arrows as they lead 16 points to 12. This tackle's coming in from the Toronto Arrows. Wide and flat, there's space, there's a try. Great vision, great awareness. And so this ball's been in play for some time here. 14 down, spill. Miller's had to clear it up, it's loose. They're in open field, there's the offload to the open side. You wanted to see him there, Garcia. Hanko Hamishwis with the Giltini try. Really well kicked ball, pressured. Put, uh, that try was scored with one man short. The Giltinis have a man in the sim who's just about ready to take the field. That's a sweet strike, a nice kick. And it is, there go the pink flags. 
You know, he wanted them to they feel they lost the fight. Maybe he got knocked around a bit last week. Right through the middle. Quick pick and go. And the offload. The arrow scrambling. It's going to be a try for the scrum half. Harrison Goddard. The Giltini's onslaught continues here. Porter, he's 90 years old. I know he's watching because he sent me a message um, how much he loves Gordon uh, and all the guys that represent Gordon abroad. A bit of an awkward kick. Across. It's a substitute. They're away, they're free. He's not only back on his feet, but he's running hard. Matthew Hood into space. The crowd are doing everything they can go, on to go, Candace go, Overthorn. They spilled it. That maybe sums up the second half here for the Arrows. And that will do it. The champions of MLR have won this one 31 points to 16 over the Toronto Arrows. Billy Meeks is, I think, relieved after the Giltini start to this match. They've got the job done. Some tired bodies, but some big smiles on the faces of the man from Los Angeles.